Well, good morning, everyone. Thomas Montgomery. It's a beautiful Friday morning, September 3rd, 2021, the Friday before Labor Day weekend. And we have a, a really special topic to go through today that I think is going to hit close to home for, for many of you. And so the topic, which is shown here on the left-hand side of, of my shared screen, is we are relaunching, as of today, the Total Credit Rebuild Program. The TCR program initially launched several years ago, and we had some really strong success. And based upon what we're seeing in the marketplace, what many of you have asked for, I spent almost an hour on the phone with Mr. Rich this morning with his input. So we're ready to, to launch this. Let me go ahead and make this just a little bit bigger so we can see it. And then we'll make sure that you know how to take action. Well, let me bring it back a little bit because here is where you're, you would be able to, to submit a client or if you're interested in being one of our credit team. And I'll, I'll describe what that means here in just a second. Okay, so what's the problem? Because that's really the, at the core of it, you and I are problem solvers. And if we can solve other people's problems, then we can monetize that and generate great income because we're getting them what they want. So let's start with the problem. Let's not, let's start, let's not start with what's in it for you, but let's start with what's in it for them. Well, we see this frequently, and I bet you do too, if, if you're active out there as either an affiliate or white label partner, we see that there are some people that are not well positioned for a capital raise. And at this point, we're not talking about their business. So we're not talking about their business plan, their financial projections. We're talking about them as an individual. So what is it that keeps people from being well positioned for a capital raise? Well, it could be their credit scores, which of course is a numerical score. It could be their profile. So their pro profile is more than just their credit score. It's what's on the credit report, both positive and negative and or their verifiable income. So what you and I know, it's not just about a score. We've seen people go out and they'll go buy authorized user accounts or they'll get a family member to add them to, to their MasterCard, Visa, Discover, whatever, and, and their credit score artificially goes up. Are they fundable? Typically not because lenders realize that AU accounts, authorized user accounts, are commonly referred to as piggybacking. It's not illegal, it's not inappropriate, but it does not make them more fundable. It just artificially reflects someone else's on-time payments. Well, lenders are more sophisticated than that, so that's why AUs often don't work. So the problem is there's people that want to have access to capital and they don't qualify. Their life circumstances have led them to a point that they're not very fundable. So that's the problem that you and I are seeking to solve. How do we solve it efficiently, affordably, quickly? Is through the Total Credit Rebuild Program. It's a turnkey solution ran through a nonprofit organization that helps them become capital ready by addressing the three C's. So again, don't confuse this with the business side. Getting the business ready for a capital raise is important if they're looking for business funding, but that is not what we're talking about at this moment. We're talking about the individual, the owner, the proprietor, the key person. So just like you and I learned in school, just like you and I probably are out teaching or speaking of frequently, if you want to borrow money, you need to have at least one of the three C's and the more the better. Credit, cash flow, which is sometimes referred to as capacity, the ability to pay back debt, and collateral. So this is what we're going to do together with the TCR program, scroll on down. So what are the four components that's included in the TCR program, you might ask? Well, we start with the credit sweep. So the credit sweep, in, in essence, is addressing derogatory items. As we said earlier, that a good credit profile, it's not just about a credit score, it's having positive. So sometimes we need to help people add positive, not what we're on in this bullet. And sometimes it's addressing negative. That is what we're on in this bullet. So the credit sweep is a proven program. 
I, I don't know how familiar you, you are with it, so I'll give you a, a little bit more feedback. But number one, it's a legal based program. What that means is it's leveraging certain laws under the Fair Credit Reporting Act, specifically Section 605B, that requires that bureaus, Equifax, Experian, and TransUnion, block. So the verb is block. They're not removing, they're blocking applicable negative items. Well, what happens when you block negative items off of someone's credit report? Typically, that's going to make their credit profile look stronger, and it's going to make their score go up. The way that we do this isn't traditional credit repair. Some of you are involved with traditional credit repair, the old dispute model. We have nothing to say about that. If that's what you want to do, that's fine. This is a professional level, and we have paralegals. It's ran by a certified credit paralegal. I know when I went through the paralegal program, it amazed me and how much I didn't know that I didn't know. And so this is a legal approach to addressing credit, certainly legal, fast, and effective. So what we're covering is what's included in the total credit rebuild to help people become more well positioned for to become capital ready. And the first of the four is credit suite which addresses applicable derogatory or negative items. Moving on. As I mentioned, it's not just removing negative, it's also having positive. So again, it's not one size fits all. We need to look at each client individually, but many clients would benefit by adding more new positive credit. And when we add credit, it is primary. We don't want to get involved with adding AUs, as I mentioned a moment ago, authorized user accounts. Those do not increase the capital readiness of a client. It often will give them a false perception that their credit profile, which we talked about a moment ago, is stronger than what it is. So we will add new positive trade lines to strengthen their credit profile. And these could be term loans or revolving trade lines based upon the client's profile and needs. So again, what are we doing? We're going through the four elements that's included in the TCR program. The first of which is credit sweep, which is addressing derogatory. And then we have credit boost, which is adding positive. Another area that we frequently see is that many individuals are not only impacted by credit, one of the three C's, Many of them don't have either the cash flow or the proper setup or documentation of cash flow to be able to be fundable. They're not capital ready. So again, we're not talking about the business, we're talking about the individual right now. And so this could be applied to individuals who own businesses or just individuals that don't own businesses. This, the TCR program is not specific to business clients. Okay, so where are we at on in, uh, income verification? It's not a surprise that the number one consider, concern and consideration of most lenders is, will they get repaid? Well, how do they determine, how do they predict? It's like a magic crystal ball, right? How, how do they know if someone's going to pay them back in the future? Well, part of it would be their credit history. And if they've not paid their bills in the past, then that doesn't bode well. And if um, they don't have demonstration of responsible payment behavior, positive, then that doesn't bode well. But that's not what we're on now. Now we're just talking about, do we have enough money to pay? It? If we wanted to go down to the car dealership and get a six-figure luxury automobile, even if we had great credit, through whatever reason, whatever manipulation or, or history, if we can't show that we can afford to make the car payment, we're not going to get the car loan. And that's where a lot of people are coming up short. And so that's where this program really hits that nail on the head, where you and I can work with them and create true income verification, verifiable income. And so that's, that's the third element. We're going to assist them in creating verifiable income that meets lender scrutiny. See, this isn't just a checklist to say that we've done something. This is to move them to be capital ready or more capital ready. 
which is demonstrated by their ability to get capital, whether it be a mortgage, a car loan, a business loan, credit cards, what have you. And then the fourth and the final element of the total credit rebuild program is collateral. You have seen most likely, and, and we've certainly seen many people that have a personal financial statement, PFS, that is not very attractive, not very robust. Well, what does a personal financial statement show? It shows the individual, again, we're not talking about the business right now, we're talking about individual. It shows their assets, liabilities, and net worth. Well, what you and I can do legally and ethically through this program, the total credit rebuild, is help them build collateral. We'll help them add a collateral assignment, and then we can help them add assets to have a higher net worth. So it's these four elements that's included in the total credit rebuild program, the TCR program. So let me go through with, with a couple of the questions that I anticipated that some of you would ask. And then if you have other questions, comments, or concerns, you can post it there in Zoom and we'll address it in a moment. So go ahead and feel free to type those in as you'd like. So what are the typical questions that you get? Well, the first is, well, how long does it take? Well, the good news is we're going to be able to see tangible results. The client will see benefits in just 60 days. So is it immediate? Does it happen overnight? Of course not. That's too good to be true. But within 60 days, we can see a meaningful impact across all four of these areas in almost all circumstances. Now, the truth is, the more that time goes on, the stronger and stronger that it gets. So... But the, the short answer to the question of, well, how long does this take? You have to reframe the question. How long will it take until you start seeing benefits from it? 60 days. If they won't give you 60 days, then we don't have the, the magic bullet to make it happen immediately. Secondly, what are they going to ask you? How much does it cost? And it's set up to be very, very affordable for anyone's budget. It's as of currently today, and you know, it, these things can change. So as of today, as of September 3rd, it would be $90.74 per month for them to enroll in the total credit rebuild. Now there will be a one-time processing fee. And so if they're interested in learning more about that, that's why I have this screen brought up on the contact us page, at IIMFL, they would put in their information referred by you, and then they would click total credit rebuild, and then we could go through it and nail down that specifically based upon what they're needing. All right, and then the third and final FAQ that we thought of, and then we'll, we'll address your questions, if you'll go ahead and type those into Zoom, is, oh, wow, this is powerful. And it is very powerful because this is addressing what most people have as a problem of that they're not capital ready. They, they need a total rebuild. They need help addressing negative. They need help addressing positive. Most don't have enough income because again, how much income you can show credibly is going to determine how much capital you can access. And then many people don't have the collateral. So uh, yes, we are looking for more professionals to work with us, but this is a unique model. It, it's, it's legal in nature. And it's, it's a bit more complicated, quite frankly. So this isn't something that, you know, just an affiliate hops in and, and is qualified to do. Not, not to say that an affiliate couldn't do it well. So what we do is, is we need individuals that have enrolled and, and or gone through a, a paralegal program, just like I have. And I know some of you have, because when you go through a paralegal program, you learn the laws. Essentially, a paralegal can do almost everything that an attorney can do. There's only a couple few exceptions, very small number of exceptions, and it's much shorter in, in duration. Uh, we can knock out the certified credit paralegal training in as short as six months, shouldn't take longer than 12 months. The question is, oh my gosh, I got to wait six or 12 months to start making money from this? No, no, not at all. While you're in training, you can be assigned to someone that is already certified and still generate income 
and then work independently once you've completed the certification. So this is a, a real training. You know, there are textbooks that you have to read. You need to understand contract law. What makes a, a, a bona fide contract? What are the essential elements? How is a, a contract written? How do these credit laws work? So this is, this is a deep dive that's not a good fit for everyone, but it's an excellent fit, especially if any of you are licensed life insurance agents, this is a home run, right? Because you know that as we're setting up collateral assignments, those are often set up through an insurance product. So most of these clients are going to be getting an insurance policy as part of their TCR program. Well, there you go. Plus you're generating extra income. The certification program, because it is national, uh, we're going to do it online and it can be completed at your own pace. I wouldn't anticipate completing it in less than six months unless you're going really fast. It shouldn't take more than 12 months. But the point is on a day-to-day, week-to-week, month-to-month basis, you control your schedule of it. And yes, you can generate income while going through it. So with that being said, I want to open it up and start answering the questions that you have because I think many of you, the light bulb has gone off. We have two different we'll say entities involved. We have people, and this is what the total credit rebuild does, is we help people become capital ready. That is a separate process, quite frankly, than getting the business capital ready. So we've done a lot with helping businesses access capital. So there's a different checklist, there's different activities, and that's called access to capital. Here, we're talking about from the individual's perspective, what can we do to help them become capital ready, help them improve their three C's so they can become credible enough to get funding, whether it be a mortgage, car loan, business loans, or what have you. So again, if you're interested in you know, one-on-one conversation, you come over to the IIMFL website, you click on the contact us page, and there's two buttons here at the bottom. If you're interested in the total credit rebuild program, you put in your information and click that button. If instead you're interested in becoming a certified credit paralegal, which is a a very attractive niche to be able to help people with this space, then you would click this and we can follow up with you on that. If you wanna refer people in again, click the total credit rebuild program and just make sure you include referred by. So with that, I'm going to pause the recording and then we'll address any other questions you have. Stand by for a second, please.